All living organisms and non-living parts within a place are interacting all the time and adjustments occur if the organisms are to survive. In this lesson, you will study about the interaction for survival among living and non-living things in estuaries. In the Philippines, there are large estuaries that play an important role in fishery as nursery grounds for certain fishes and crustaceans. And one of the most popular estuaries in the Philippines is the Puerto Princesa Underground River in Palawan. Estuaries are divided into five major types depending on how they are formed. The classification is based on these geological features. We have the coastal plain estuaries, the barbell estuaries, the tectonic estuaries, Delta System Estuaries and the Fjord Estuaries. Coastal plain estuaries are formed when existing river valleys are filled with salt water from the rising of the sea level. Here in the Philippines, an example is the San Miguel Bay in Naga City. Bar belt estuaries form when a shallow lagoon or bay is protected from the ocean by a sandbar or barrier island. Here in our country, an example would be the estuary in Anawangin Cove, Sambale. For Delta System Estuary, we have the estuaries at the mouth of Nile River in Louisiana. Tectonic estuaries include the San Francisco estuary, which was created by tectonics. And the Glacier Bay in Alaska is an example of Fjord Estuary, which is a U-shaped valley that is formed or created by glacial action. According to ecologists, estuaries are usually divided into three tidal zones, the supratidal, intertidal, and subtidal zones. They are subject to changing water levels, temperature, oxygen content, and levels of light.
S3s provide us with a wide range of resources, benefits, and services. First, they provide places for habitat of valuable species of plants and animals, recreational activities, scientific study, important centers for transportation, and international commerce. The increasing population of people unfortunately upsets the natural balance of estuarine ecosystem. It threatens their integrity and imposes increased pressures on vital natural resources like estuarine. So here are things that we can do to conserve and protect the estuarine. In your community, you need to take action. You can organize a stream or beach cleanup by encouraging your local newspaper to write a story or ask an expert to speak at your community organization or local school. Grade 5 Globalians Always remember that estuaries are important parts of our lives. They are also important parts of our coastal and ocean ecosystems. Estuaries provide rich feeding grounds of coastal fish and migratory birds and drowning areas for fish and shellfish. It is important that everyone helps to protect estuaries and conserve the valuable resources in estuarine ecosystems.